Hey y'all, this is Ginger Knees, coach of the Texas Tornadoes, here with week two of the EWT. This week we're taking on the Rose City Roselias and CB Marcus. Now I think if we lose this week, we actually have a bye next week because that will be the, the championship of the first bracket in the regular season that we're playing. If we win, we move on to that championship. But otherwise, we'll play again in week four as we start a new bracket and start up with another team. My opponent this week has really scary mons like Galarian, Darmanitan, and Metagross, which kind of go in against me. They've also got a Sun team uh, with Torkoal and Venusaur, which kind of beats my hail. So it's going to be a really interesting matchup that I'm excited for. Let me show you the team. First off, we have our Leftovers Corviknight. We've got mixed defenses. This is mostly a pivot, but Iron Defense plus Body Press can actually do some work depending on what's left on their team. Specs Latios. Uh, there's just too much damage to not bring specs this week. We probably won't use Trick depending on their Latios answer, but really once we get rid of something like Metagross or at least get a little bit of damage on it, we can just spam Psychic the rest of the game. We have Unaware Clefable. There's some setup threats like Azumarill and Komo on my opponent's team. With Unaware Clefable, I don't have to worry about them at all. We're very, very defensive. We can just switch in and Moonblast and win. We have Life Orb Mamoswine. Very threatening. Uh, with Ice Shard, Earthquake, and Knockoff, and Stealth Rocks can do a lot of work in this game if my opponent doesn't have heavy duty boots on some of their bigger threats. Finally, if my opponent's Torkoal goes down, our Hail just wins. So we have our bulky Ninetales with Aurora Veil and the Icy Rock to keep that Hail up once Sun is gone forever, and we have our SD uh, Wide Lens Sand Slash, Wide Lens for triple axle hits uh, to really just plow through the rest of the team once that sun is gone. So I'm really excited for this matchup. I'll cut until we get into the battle. All right, here we are for the battle. And uh, this is not at all what I was expecting. Uh, let's see, so we've got Torkoal, Rotom, Porygon, which I really didn't expect. Uh, Darm, Azu, and Metagross. So, I mean, I guess it was pretty close to what I was expecting, but um, I thought Azelf would come. We've got... Rotom instead. Might be a defogger. Because otherwise he's got to have rapid spin on his... Eh, he might have rapid spin on the uh, Torkoal. So maybe that's like a nasty plot Rotom set. Uh, what else did I think? Okay, I also thought the Landorus was going to come instead of the Porygon. Um, Porygon's a bit of a bummer because it's normally a little cut mod, so I actually have no idea what it's going to be doing. Um, I don't know what it's going to try to do. Uh, I would assume it's just kind of a knockoff version of Porygon 2, so like recover, teleport stuff. Um, I am going to go ahead and throw out my Mamoswine for the lead. I'm glad he didn't bring Venusaur. That would have been a bit of a, tr a bit of an issue, but I mean, we'll see. Uh, this game is really going to be about how I can pilot this team because it's a little complicated. <laughs> I like the trainer card. Uh, it's a little complicated and I'm not sure that I did quite enough prep to feel comfortable piloting it properly, but it could definitely happen. Good fit, by the way. Uh, GLHF, good luck, have fun to our opponent. Azu is not a great lead for me. So let's see, with my Mamo. I obviously don't want to be taking anything here. I think I go straight into Corviknight. Uh, if I take a knockoff, I take a knockoff, but then I can U-turn out, and I'm actually... I don't... No, I'm not minus speed. How's my Clefable doing? If this is, like, banded... Okay, so I'm just going to go Corviknight, and we'll see what, what the damage looks like. Uh, Would have loved to have done anything else on that turn, but it is what it is. Let's see. What are you going for? Do you belly drum turn one? No, just a liquidation. And how much is this doing? From 204. Oh my god, a crit. Okay. So that's 170 on a liquidation crit. Uh, looks like this is banned. Okay. So that is a humongous bummer. Um, but liquidation into... Okay, what do I need Corviknight for? I mean, it was really for the Metagross. At this point, I'm not sure that I can roost on anything, though. Um, liquidation, if it's not a crit, 
is doing just way too much. I'm going to roost. I mean, like, I could try to U-turn out here. I'm just going to roost and see uh, if you decide to switch. God. Yeah, liquidation crit turn one is not great. And that's, yeah, that's looking like banded damage. Um, okay, what are we going to do here? That is such a bummer to start out, man. Uh, banded liquidation. I'm like looking at <laughs> all of my mons and I just get completely annihilated by this. So we have to either let it go down or like stall it out or something. I'm going to keep doing this. Okay, and that's why, and that's why. Okay, what is this? Torkoal. That's totally fine with me. So, my switch into Torkoal, I think, is Latios. And now we actually have <laughs> some health on Corviknight. That was incredible. Um, thank goodness, man. That was going to be... That was going to be really rough. So let's go into... Well, actually, how does my Mammo do here? Because if we can... If he's got... I live pretty much every hit here. Not well, though, if it's modest. We'll go Latios. We'll see how this does. Um, this could just be Rocks. And that would be fine with me, but I don't think that you just kind of sit there in front of eruption okay so how much is this doing from that's about 70 eruption from full okay so it doesn't look like it's modest max uh, I can psychic for free here this depending on the investment has a chance to kill it probably doesn't kill But this is going to hurt no matter what you go into. Like, I don't think that you really risk Metagross um, when I could have Mystical Fire in the sun. Let's see. That damage... That damage looks like it might be max attack, or max special attack, but not modest. It could also be, like, less special attack and... I don't know, charcoal or something. But I definitely don't think that it's... Yeah, okay, so you definitely switch there. Is this going to be Metagross? No, Rotom. Okay. How much is Spec Psychic doing to Rotom? It should die. Yeah, okay. And Rotom goes down. So, uh, KO'd by Latios. So Rotom goes down. I would expect the Metagross probably comes out here now. Because I think the only way that I killed that was to be Specs. Migs. Ooh. Okay. So, this is a little tough. Uh, if he's... I think I just go into Corviknight. Yeah, I think I just go into Corviknight. Let's see, damage-wise, how much we end up taking here. Because I should be able to live an Icicle Crash. Again, is this... Uh, it's just Icicle Crash. Okay. So let's figure this out. From 160... It only did about 60. Uh, so this is... That's weird. I wonder if it's not Guerrilla Tactics? That's really weird. I... Don't know how to feel about that. I wonder if I should roost one more time. Or if I should just U-turn. I don't know. That damage makes me scared. <laughs> Why did that do so little? Um, I'm going to roost. If you're... Okay. Okay, so it is what I thought it was. And that's totally fine. So Darm KOs Corv. Okay, so it is, in fact, uh, the Zen mode set. So 
So it's probably Belly Drum, but we know it has Ice Cold Crash and Flare Blitz. Okay. So with that... It's so fast, though, is the problem. Um, yeah, say it's max speed. Like, what do we actually do here? Because I get outsped by Mamo. I think I get outsped by the... Or, like, Latios gets outsped if it's Jolly. Um, I think I go Ninetales. So, with Ninetales, I should be faster. I can go for a Hypnosis here. Which is super risky, right? But, if you just kill me, I bring out uh, Sand Slash. And my problem is solved. And I think there's too much risk here of me putting up the Aurora, Aurora Veil. And then this not getting anything out of... Exactly. Okay. Do you bring in Torkoal here and do I land the Hypnosis? Because if I land a Hypnosis here, that would actually be massive. We do. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so with... Obviously, you get the one guaranteed sleep turn here. How do we play around? I think trying to get in my Mamoswine now is the right move. Um... Obviously, you can just switch right back to Darm. But I think that this is the right way to go. Mario B. Okay. So we can we can Rocks here. Um, Mamo. I think I want Rocks. See if we can figure out some information about everything else. Trick Room? Okay. That's interesting. I'm actually minus speed, or not minus speed, but I'm no speed EVs on my uh, Clefable. Okay, so I'm looking here and try attack even from like modest Porygon is not even doing half to me. I'm going to knock off. Try attack? Okay. How much damage are you doing? From 189, it's about 60. So it's not modest. And we did about, what is that, 30-ish percent with knockoff? So it's much more defensive. Um, Yeah, okay. So with no item left, Earthquake actually has a chance to kill here. And with no Rotom anymore, this hits everything. Oh, you were trying to teleport out? Ah, oh, we don't quite get the kill. Okay. But Porygon is at super low. What do you bring out here? So the Torkoal has not burned a sleep turn. This is still worth it. Uh, so we should definitely save it if... What is Q? Metagross. Okay. Um, so my best Metagross answer was actually Corviknight, which is a little unfortunate. It's lefties. Okay. Um, leftovers... I mean, like, a Meteor Mash is kind of free here, right? How many turns of Trick Room are left? Two? Because I think my Sand Slash is slower. Oh. It's only slower if it's max speed, and it's probably not max speed if it's that, so... I'm in a bit of a tough spot here. Right, I definitely want to keep this. But nothing really wants to take a Meteor Mash. I might let Clef go down, which is unfortunate, but we can, we should probably take one hit 
we can wish because we should be slower. Oh, just Iron Head? Okay. So that did one, a little under 140. Uh, so it's probably not max attack. Not minus attack. It's like impish instead. That looks about right. But we can wish here. Uh, die. And then we'll be back at uh, regular speed tiers. This is going to be a tough game. It's going to be a really tough game. BP? Okay, I might actually live BP. I do. Let's go. Okay. Now, unfortunately... Uh, hold on. So this is Iron Head Bullet Punch. Dimensions are back to normal. I think you BP there because you think I'm faster? Like, as much as I want to do anything else... I think I have to protect if I want that wish to do anything for me. I don't think you can set up here. So we'll protect and see what you want to go for. I can't, I unfortunately cannot switch into an Iron Head. Um, even my Sand Slash um, takes like 50%, and I really don't do much back. I need a veil. Well, let's see what you do. Iron defense. Okay, so this is... Hold on, so it might be body press. My Latios. I kind of want to trick on this. Um, I should be slower. Because I'm... Minus speed. So I'm going to try to baton pass here and we'll see what happens. Just Iron Head. This might kill me. Probably kills me. That's okay. Uh, so now we go into Latios. Uh, this is a tough one. So I think Mystical Fire doesn't kill. Um, I can trick and just completely ruin this thing though. Uh, do I, though? Hold on. So if I trick, I, I really need Sand Slash to kind of pull this one out for me. This is going to be tough. Um, I think I just Mystical Fire just to get the damage. BP's not killing me. Wow. That ate that up. Oh, but I didn't die. Okay, that's actually enormous. So we know that he's going to BP on this turn. Um, this, this might be the end for me, though. So, Sand Slash. BP. What does that do? Like... A little less than 30. Okay. But you're at plus 2 defense. So I'm going to need to... Probably Sword Stance here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is rough. Metagross is... I, I knew Metagross was going to be an issue. I got to hope that this is... Well, I mean, if this is Body Press, I might just lose, right? Does Metagross even get Body Press? If it's Earthquake, I think I live one. But I'm not sure that I live one into another Bullet Punch. And I think at this point, Bullet Punch might just sweep me. It is Body Press. I think that that's GG. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that that, unfortunately, is going to be GG. I don't think my Mamoswine lives BP anymore. I really needed Corviknight for this. Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can try to Earthquake and just see, but, oof. Yeah, that is that is rough. Uh, I knew Metagross was going to be a problem for me. I've got an Ice Team <laughs> and uh, not really any, well, definitely no Stab Fire moves. Uh, that's why I had the, the specs on Latios in the first place, was to hopefully get enough damage there. But we took a little too much damage uh, in the first place with Latios. So this is looking like it's probably going to be a 5-0. I mean, unless I get a, a, a crit earthquake would absolutely kill here. Um But we'll, we'll see. There's a small chance that this kills anyway. I don't think Bullet Punch kills me. But I KO myself with Earthquake. So if I don't get the KO here, I lose. Oh my god, okay. Uh, so I guess that's just a... Uh... Well, Ninetales has a small, small, small chance to live Bullet Punch. Um, yikes, this is uh, just a, an unfortunate game. There's absolutely no way to win anymore. Um, we have to hope <laughs> that we live a bullet bunch and Moonblast kills, but we're probably not living this BP. Oh, okay. So it did have a little less attack investment than I expected, but... At this point, there is absolutely no way that I can win this battle. Uh, unfortunate. Let's see, Metagross KO'd by Ninetales. Um, but it unfortunately KOs, you know, Slash and Clef and Mamo. Um, do I try to even fail here? Like, at, at this point... I think it just Aqua Jets twice and I lose. So. Yeah. So that'll be that. Uh, not a great lead from me. Which kind of put me on the back foot. Having to switch in Corv into uh, the Banded Liquidation in the first place. Although I'm not entirely sure what the right lead would have been. Probably Latios. Uh, and then we like Spec Psychic. But it is what it is. Uh, GG's to my opponent. Azu KOs 9 and Lottie. Uh, yeah, GG's to Marcus. Uh, it, was a, it was a good game. I wish I could have made it a little closer there. But uh, that'll probably be it for this initial bracket. We'll start using a next team uh, in a couple of weeks. And uh, I'm excited for... Uh, trying to see what these other teams can do. So uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.